luck was smiling on the Irish today with fantastic weather that drew large crowds to the 250th St. Patrick's Day Parade. We love the St. Patrick's Day Parade and we're here to see our FDNY Sun March too. It's fantastic. It's my first time here and it's wonderful. I come straight from the old side, all my relatives, my ancestors, so it feels mighty good to be representing them today. She's the greatest Irish storyteller around. Mayor Bloomberg downplayed his gaffe, calling the Irish inebriated. He got high marks from Cardinal Egan, but drew boos from the crowd. For him to make that kind of comment uh, right before St. Patrick's Day and have the audacity to walk in amongst all of them, you know, come on, you're a hypocrite. I mean, told the joke which some people didn't find funny, meant in good uh, spirit. Uh, the bottom line is that the reception I've gotten at the uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade so far and this morning puts a smile on my face. I come to know and appreciate him for two years. He's a great friend. He celebrates the ethnic diversity of the city. He apologized, forget it. Injured police officer Stephen McDonald got a big hand, but crowds were generally quiet for a parade that came on the heels of the Japanese earthquake and threat of nuclear radiation. What happened in the world over in Japan has, you know, it's effect on people. You know, I mean, everybody's got to feel it. There was a small protest by the gay and lesbian community, which is not allowed by parade officials to march under their own banner. That we're left out of the parade because the parade organizers have defined it in the media and in the courts as anti gay, Catholic, and private in its nature for the specific purpose of excluding us. It's a First Amendment right to protest and to say what you want to say, but to drown out the marching bands and the bagpipes on St. Patrick's Day, I think, is irresponsible. No drinking allowed at the parade, but at the bars. Hey! This is Megan Pasnick for the New York Post. Who's Irish today? Yeah!